What's up, guys? It's TK Jelly Man back here. Um, you see what it is? Lego review. Cause why not? Didn't have enough of <laughs> of the other ones. But um, yeah. The AT AP Walker from Star Wars. Uh, where's the set number? Seven five two three four. This thing, high key, is a beast. Like, just fire. And then there's there's some more of it. Now here are the minifigures. So we got Chewie, the Kashyyyk Trooper, right there. And then Commander Green, and then the two battle droids, two Kashyyyk battle droids. And then the box also has, of course, the um, some action features. So. It's got like some stickers in it. Well, the set's got like mm, it's a decent amount of stickers. I'll point them out when I go ahead and show you. So it's got that. Then it's got the um, push, push to fire thing, and then the turn can also um, what's it called? Move around. I'll show you that soon too. And then the leg, the front leg can get folded up into like a landing type of thing for like I'd say uh, probably like ship carry and then that can be on what's it called you can open the side hatches and then you can also disconnect this part to this part all right so I'm going to show you all the stickers sticker right here sticker right there sticker also here And another sticker right there. So now where is it? Right there is another sticker on the turret. And then those three things are stickers right there too. And then since we're here, I might as well show you the inside. It's nice and sleek. It was um a lot more difficult for me to build because I I don't really do angles like that. And this has a high amount of Technic pieces. So I was not prepared for all of that. But yeah, the brown things right there, um, there and there are seats for the figures to go in. The trap doors or the side panels got clips for weapons, I suppose. And like, maybe you want to build a custom turn and then put it there and then it can like go in and out when you open the panel. Got some nice tiling. And this this is just the main support to like go through like from the front all the way to the back and stuff. Um, I think this is like just a blast shield type of thing. It kind of doesn't really serve too much of a purpose except for looks. So yeah. And then we also got a rotating turret in the front and then this is where it connects and then there's also a little pin let me let me try to flip it over or something I don't know really how to grab this thing but I don't want it getting all busted and stuff Ugh. all right but right there you can probably see a little pin and it goes into um, that gray piece right there, that light gray one. And that's how this gets connected. And then you go ahead and angle it so it can connect to that part too. And yeah, that's it for those parts. These are connected with Technic pieces as well. Some nice side angles. Sorry for the bad lighting, but um, yeah, these can get moved and stuff. So it's like a, you can have it as like a little back entrance or um, a way to quickly get out to evacuate. i close it up like that. Here's some backspace. I'm probably going to customize this and put some, put something there. I just don't know what yet, but when I figure out, I'll go ahead and put something there. And then 
this little thing, it's the part so that the leg can fold up. So I'll go ahead and try to fold it up for you real quick. Draw down for a quick second. All right. So you go ahead, just pick up the front leg, angle it, because it's got to be flush against the back part. All right. So let me see if I can like find an angle. You can kind of see this. Uh, huh, that kind of works. Okay. There we go. Then it gets locked in right there. Then you can bring this down. And yeah. That's how that would go. And then... If I disconnect this piece from this piece right here, which should not be too hard, yep. then this thing can move and get aimed and turn differently. And this kind of just is here, all loose and stuff. And then this, these can get enabled too and move more. And then line it up all the way. All right. And so now all three of them are aimed and lined up. And yeah. And so let's get to the minifigures to wrap this up. Let's go ahead and show you like this. Okay. So this is Chewy. It's a new design of him. His eyes kind of look a little weird, but it's cool. Got some nice leg printing. A nice um head to torso piece, I guess you would call that. Um, I think, let me just grab all of them real quick. All right. Here's Commander Green. Got some nice uh, wear and tear on his armor. And some nice black and green camo for his legs. Interesting back printing. And then got a nice damaged helmet. And just an angry clone face. We also got the Kashyyyk Trooper. Got some nice printing on the legs and the torso. Regular, I think this is just a regular one though. Nothing special about him, I don't think. Got some camo on his helmet. And angry clone face. And then the battle droids are just the same, so I'm just going to show you one. It's basically just a regular battle droid, but um, with some some paint on it so not really too special got a um gunmetal gray uh blaster and that's that's really just about it so um, yeah once again at t uh, no at ap walker set 7523 ages 9 plus 689 pieces like a star wars review um if you liked it Go ahead and like, hit subscribe, um, comment down below what you want to see next. And um, I'm going to go ahead and have like low-key Lego base review coming up soon. So I can go ahead and tear it down and then make another one. So just be on the lookout for that. And I have some, some custom stuff that I want to show as well. So I'll go ahead and show that too at that time. But um... I'll go ahead and see y'all in the next video.